Hi guys, before I proceed with our video, which is the full awakening of the light fruit, let me first just show you the winner of our giveaway. Again, max level Phoenix fruit in King Legacy. Here you go. So here is the instruction. Just comment hashtag GamerNom, blah, blah, join our Discord group. And to determine the winner, I used an app, the comment finder. So you need to get the URL of my video. I need to get the URL. Then paste it. And everyone who commented hashtag GamerNom, there you go. This application will find all the comments with the hashtag GamerNom. And with that, see, we have 643 comments. With that, guys, we can do a raffle. So, for the lucky winner, let's start the raffle. Congratulations, Daniel Shumaldes. Pamilti ka naman. Okay. Daniel Shum Shumal Zade. Sorry, sorry. So I searched for his comments. There you go. In the comment section. There you go. So I messaged him. Bro, join Discord. And luckily, he's already a part of Discord group. There you go. So he here is his username. Okay. So before this guy, he was already PMing me like, uh, like this gamer gnome. Why don't you play Minecraft? I am your biggest fan. I really love your videos. So shout out to you, bro. I appreciate you and all of the supporters. And guys, so I contacted him. So what I did is I changed the password of the account and I asked for his email address. There you go. And verify it. And I asked him to send me pictures of him playing it just to show a proof. So here is the picture. Again, bro, congratulations. Everyone, see you on my next giveaway. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So, for this video, guys, for those who requested, I've seen your requests. We're gonna awaken all the skills of the light fruit. So, this is what's going to happen. I'm gonna show you the pool process. And gave you some tips, some guides on how to finish the raid, as well as show you all the skills, okay? The total amount of what do you call this fragments. So first go to Hot and Cold Island. There you go. In the laboratory, here is the color coding or the color combination red, blue, green, and blue. Okay? Red, blue, green, and blue. And a uh, secret door will open. There you go. Go up and talk to this dude. There you go, the mysterious scientist. So you can choose whether you're gonna buy it, the pass, or you're gonna use a physical fruit. So where do you get physical fruits? You can pick one, you can get it from your cousin, the one who sells you fruits, and that's it. Okay, so before entering, make sure to prepare, use your best accessories, etc. And by the way, my brother helped me aerosess, so two of us finished the whole raid, okay? We have five islands here. So first tip guys, always use your skills properly. It is very rare for you to, to like fight one single target enemy. So make sure to lure them all before you use your skills, okay? Again, this is a time trial type of uh, quest, raid. So make sure to be more efficient in using your skills. Again, skills do cool down, okay? Okay, there you go. So and talk to your friend. Like for example, here my my brother Aero says, every time I use my vermilion drill, it stuns enemies, right? So every time I stun, he will use his high damage skills, and after that he will stun the enemies, and that's the time that I'm gonna use my high damage skills, like the sky beam barrage. By the way, I have the last resort that is like the uh, upgraded version or the skill of the race, human race. Oh, so it's a good. Thing that I unlock it to increase my damage okay so for the second island make sure to stay in the middle guys see, see my camera it's like eagle's eye because I'm always looking for enemies that are stuck behind the houses because sometimes enemies are getting stuck there and it's very hard or it's very time-consuming and it will really stress you out if in case someone gets stuck and you think you've already defeated them all Oh no, and again, it's a time trial type of raid. So you need to beat the time and beat the enemies as well. Okay? Again, always look for enemies that are stuck in 
the houses or in any rock okay that's it for I second island third island guys this is the easiest island except for one thing okay so first lure them all right for them all the, this is the first wave okay so lure them all in the middle make sure to burst after this first wave two enemies will spawn yeah those two make sure to finish them fast and after that the final wave will appear okay so guys check this out in this area three three mobs will appear so make sure to wait for that last one because if you didn't wait for it it will get stocked as it happened to us lots of times and i'm so pissed to be honest <laughs> anyway that's just the hard part in this island and if you lure properly this island will be very easy next up guys the fourth island guys also go to the left why because the platform here or the area here is wider if you try to defeat them on the other side enemies will keep on getting knocked back in the water and go uh, spawn back up on the mountain some of them might uh, heal etc and how can you burst them if they're far apart right okay so the technique here lure them burst them okay and you can do it in this wider platform okay that's it guys it's very easy there you go make sure to cycle your stunts etc and that's it so for the final island guys we have a boss here let's make sure that the boss will go out of this pyramid so how do you do that at first make sure to stay near the water because the boss and the mobs will try to chase you so it will teleport outside of the pyramid okay that's the first one after doing that guys try to uh maintain your distance okay and choose an area of the pyramid we're in you can fight properly here i chose this part here you go you can still dodge his attacks etc keep your distance while doing long range attacks guys you need to defeat the mobs not just the boss we tried it once we keep on uh, going around the pyramid and one of the mob got stuck we defeated the boss one mob got stuck and we were not able to find it we lost the raid so make sure to stay in one area okay there you go so cycling stuns uh, your V skill, the Sky Beam Barrage, Stun, Run, Stun, Run, Sky Beam Barrage, and that's it, guys. For the first time we repeat it, it's a buzzer beater. Check the time for 3, 2, okay, okay, that's it. You need to do this 5 times, okay, 5 times, and you need to spend a shard. So, first 500, next up, I think it's 2000. There you go. For the third skill, it's uh, 3,000 next is 4,000 and the last one is 5,000 so for a total of 14,500 correct me if I'm wrong so first I'm gonna show you the shining flight guys shining flight you can control your flight now so cool guys you can now control your flight again light fruit is one of the if not the fastest fruit when it flies okay so next up I'm gonna show you the skills so the target boss is Fajita so first we're gonna use the divine arrow there you go Boom. it can stun your enemies uh, next up is a sword of judgment it can also stun your enemies there you go so cool guys the problem with that is the, the moment you push it it's a channeling attack so meaning you need to like uh, hold it until it finishes if you want to maximize its damage next up we have the light speed destroyer I think this skill is very good for single target enemies PvPs or boss fight there you go okay so last one we have the wrath of god almost the same as your sky beam barrage light barrage but i think it has a higher damage now let's try it with the last resort and check the damage see that aura there you go for the light speed destroyer oh not bad hmm what let's try the sword of judgment Ooh. guys what do you think for me it really is so cool guys the shining flight you can control it now the way you fly so cool the wrath of god the lightning speed as well as the divine arrow guys i'm contented for those asking how many shards do i have i have 88,000, i guess so again guys to all the viewers subscribers supporters i appreciate y'all again i hope that you learned something from this guide again this is gamer nom with the and gamer nom out